Hey, hey, welcome everyone to this week's episode of the Amazon Files brought to you by Mommy Income. I am your host, Kristen Ostrander. Happy New Year. It is 2024. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Time goes by so, so quickly these days. I feel like the older you get, the faster it goes, right? And my mom told me that years ago and I didn't understand it until, I don't know, recently when the years just seem to fly by. And this year has been no exception. Whether it's been good for you or not so good for you or kind of a mix, I think everybody has a mix of years of highlights and lowlights and things you'd like to forget and things you'd like to remember. Um, but I love a new beginning. I love a Monday. I love the beginning of a month. I love the beginning of a year. I love a birthday. I love when there's time to give some thought and some reflection on a year past. You know, a birthday is good for that. A new year is good for that. A Monday even is good for that. I know some people dread Monday. I love Monday. It's it's a new beginning. It's a new week. It's a start fresh. It's put last week behind you and keep moving forward. And so I'm going to keep this short and sweet. I know that um, for those of you who are in the hub, you uh, did a reflection with me last week of setting your goals for 2024, and that was uh, an amazing thing. And I'm sure if you listened to last week's episode, you definitely got um, the workbook there if you wanted to download the workbook for um, setting some of your goals and your opportunities to kind of start fresh and start new. And everyone says, new you, new year, new you. Um, And yet those things are cliche, but they're actually not either. Because when in this life do we make time for ourselves to reflect on the year, to reflect on what we want in the future? You know, there's been so many studies about goals being written down. And even if it's jotting it down on a sticky note and sticking it in a book someplace or putting it at the end of your notebook, or sometimes I stick my, I I write goals down or I write messages to myself and I flip the calendar like six months and I just stick it on there and I forget about it until that month comes up and then I open it up and it's like, oh, did you remember to do this or that? Are you still working on this goal? And so writing yourself little surprise notes that you forget about that then also come back to you. Um, But it's a time. Whether, whether we like it or not, whether it's cliche or not, whether we roll our eyes and say, everybody says new year, new you, blah, blah, blah. No, it doesn't have to be a new you. It can be a new something. Tell me something. Have you taken the time, just maybe a 15-minute hustle, maybe 15 minutes of your life to sit down and be like, am I tracking the way that I want to track? Am I doing something that brings me joy? and brings me money and brings me happiness and brings me um, fulfillment because I'm realizing as time goes by life is too short to do stuff you hate now let's be real we all have to do like laundry and dishes and pay bills and you know things like that yeah I don't love all those things either let's be real but you can find joy in each moment knowing hey and being grateful as part of, of that. I know I have a sign in my home that says, gratitude makes what we have enough. And I just wanted to take the time to make a short list of things that you're grateful for. Things that are blessings in your life. Things, people, pets, jobs finances, your home, your neighborhood, your friends, your neighbors, your mother, your well, all the different things, feet to walk with, eyes to see, ears to hear, fingers to type on a keyboard, the internet so that you can work from home if you so choose. If you're walking your dog or driving a car, that's something to be thankful for. And in a world where there's so many things, I'm sure everyone can make a short list of what they're thankful for. And then what are some things like, like we have to flip this as well. There are some things that I'm not so grateful for lately. (laughs) Things that, that are outside of our control. I know it's winter in Michigan and oh, the weather is so bad. It really squashes my mood when it's 40 degrees or less and cloudy and rainy and gloomy every single day. Definitely not, not grateful for that. But it could always be worse. It could always be all the better. 
So I have to find the sunshine even when there's none. It's about how we look at our lives and how we look at the perspective of what we have and what we want. Because it's okay to want things. It's okay to want a little bit more or a little bit better. Maybe better than what you had last year. Better relationships, better finances, better health. The question remains, we don't wish for it. We work for it. Nothing is given just like that. We don't wish for it. We make a plan and we take action little by little. Because honestly, time is going to go by. We're at another new year. And tell me something. If we're honest with ourselves, there's things that we did not get done in 2023. There are things that were goals we had, things we wanted to accomplish, things we wanted to do, and they just didn't happen. And guess what? That's okay. Because if you're still breathing and moving, you got another shot to do it again. Or do something different. Maybe that goal no longer serves you. Maybe that, that goal that you had is no longer what you want. That's okay too. Scratch it off. Try again. But this time, maybe make a plan. Maybe make a plan. Because you can sit and say, oh, I wish I had a better this or that. Business, relationship, money, less debt. Instead, you can make a plan to make that happen. A little bit at a time. I know we're so about instant gratification. We want everything. We want it right now. We want it here and now. But the reality is, we didn't get where we are overnight. We're not going to get where we want to go overnight. But if you fast forward to this day, next year, 2025, one year from now, what could be different if you took one step every day? 365 steps in a different direction, in a new direction, in, a, in the same direction. Those can be big steps, small, small steps. Some days you step really big. Some days you step really small. But every day you could take a step towards something better. And we have a mantra in our house, a couple of them, lots of them. I don't know, my kids roll their eyes and say all the things I say all the time. But, you know, number one is we don't say can't here. We can't say can't. It's a bad word. There's other choice words we don't like to use, but that is one that you're going to get nailed for. Can't. You can say you don't want to. You can say you don't know how. You can say you're afraid. But don't you dare tell me you can't. Because we'll figure it out. Right? Can't. You absolutely can't. What are you going to do about it? What steps are you going to take to make it happen? If you don't know how, learn. If you're scared, fight through it. Figure out why you're scared. Figure out what you're scared of. Because if you want that thing, you're going to have to figure that out. Whatever that thing is. Everybody's, a lot of people set resolutions this time of year. I want to resolve. Resolve. That's what a resolution is. I resolve to blank. Maybe it's get healthier. Maybe it's have better relationships. Maybe it's pay off debt. Maybe it's quit a bad habit. And then by mid-February, everyone laughs about it, and then you just become a meme. <laughs> but do you still really want that thing? Do you still really want to shed that extra weight, or get healthier, or get stronger, or make a little bit more money? Take that vacation? Buy that car? Pay off that debt? Do you still want that? Because you have an opportunity right now, today, to take 365 steps in that direction. Every day you have the choice. It doesn't have to be go hard or go home. I mean, there's a time and a place for that. Sure. But how about it's go slow, just go. Go slow, just go. What you want is available. But you have to move towards it. Slow, quick, sideways, around, 
skipping, jumping, whatever it is. It's okay with me. But you've got to do something about it. You have to move. You have to take action. Wishing does nothing. Working does something. So what is it that you want? What is it that you want to move toward? Because 365 days are going to pass again and you can be that much closer to what you want. Or you can sit in the same chair over and over again every year, wishing, hoping, pursuing, kind of, sort of, half-assed in a way. But I'm here to tell you, you're worth it. You're worth the effort that you can put in. And you get what you give. You put in a little bit of effort, you get a little bit of result. But if you do that over and over and over, it adds up. It always adds up. The other mantra we have in our, ha- in our house besides can't, because we know you can, is if you know better, do better. We don't always know better. Sometimes we have to learn better. The way we talk to each other, the way we treat each other, the way we're um, either selfless or selfish. The reality is you're not who you were last year. There have been events, there have been emotions, there have been things, there have been sickness and health, better and worse, all around this year that has changed who you are, even in the slightest bit. And that's great news. We don't want to stay the same every year. We don't want to be the same. We want to grow and change and be better and do better. So that's a question I'm going to leave with you today. What can you do better at? Because you want to, because you desire to, because you don't like that part of yourself or that part of your life. If you know better, do better. Just do better. We can all do better in some area or another. So what do you want to do better at this year? You have 365 more chances to do it. You're not going to be perfect. You're going to screw up. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to take steps back. That's fine. That's real life. Everybody has real life. No matter who, no matter how many highlights you see on Instagram, no matter no, no matter how much you see everybody's goodness in their life, everybody is going through something. But there's something we can be better at, whatever that is for you today, this year. Three hundred and sixty-five more chances to do better. That inspires me, even, to know that I have 365 more days, Lord willing, to do better and be better. That's inspiration to me. I hope it's inspiration to you. I hope that there is something that you want so badly this year that you just can't wait to get it. Every day you're going to wake up and take one step. Or maybe leaps and bounds. Maybe you'll get to that goal way before 365 days. And I'll be here to celebrate with you. Because any move in the right direction is a good move. So here's to a new year and 365 more days to do something, to do better, to be better. I can't wait for what this year holds for me and for you. Let me know in the comments. Let me know where your goals are would love to be here to support you but I'm excited about what 2024 is going to bring for me for my life for my family and especially for you y'all I know you could do any other thing right now but don't take it for granted that you're listening to this show I pray that you will take time to reflect on this decide how what direction you want to move in how you want to be better this year let's be better together